Okay, today I'm going to give you a tour of the Alexa Chung Studios because a lot of you are asking how we work, what it looks like, and uh, today is your lucky day. It's really thrilling. Come to work with me. We're in East London because, very selfishly, this is where I live. So I decided to set my office up close to home, and that way I can walk there, walk back, etc., etc. I always get the lift because I can't be bothered to walk because I walk to work. Can you see yourselves? Nah. So even if I'm in a bad mood, this bit cheers me up because you'll hear it in a second. She's got a really funny accent. Floor three. Floor three. Really fancy. So what's on this floor is our atelier. So I'll start with that. Follow moi. So we're upstairs and this is where all the pattern cutting happens. So if we've got uh, a thing we're working on, we then send it up and the very talented pattern cutters, Caroline and Chris, work on it. This key doesn't actually work. Let's try this door. I will say, actually, we're after hours right now because absolutely no one in the company, bar one person, wanted to be on camera. So everyone's gone home. But this is where the magic happens, where they're being mathematical. So any, like, fit amendments we have on something, we then pin it downstairs and then send it up here and then they kind of workshop it. So it's magic, magic elves live in this part in this realm. I really like it up here, it's much calmer and they've got better radio, but I actually work downstairs, so I'll show you that. Shall I? All of this could be yours. So that's the first thing, that's the atelier. And then if we go downstairs one level, that's the proper offices where everyone else hangs out. This makes me really happy because sometimes I can't believe I actually have a grown-up company. So when I see that, I'm like, oh, it's really nice. And then I come in in the morning and I go like this, morning, kids. And usually people ignore me. Currently, no one's here. And this is my office. And by my office, I mean something that's a shared space. So often I'll come to work and other people will be having meetings in here. So it's meant to be mine, but it actually is fairly communal. The only artwork I have are Polaroids given to me by Derek Blasberg, which is quite nice. And Virginia, this was like a poster we developed for a thing we did in Tokyo. I am really lucky because I have my wardrobe at home, but also have the work wardrobe. This is current collection that I haven't worn yet that I'm hoping to wear at different fashion weeks, maybe Paris, some new knitwear we've got. Um, that's a vintage thing. This is from a collection called uh, Hotel Motel um, and various others. It was actually just cleaned up this closet because it was really disgusting, but that's all more clothes. Oh, sketchbooks. Weird doodles I do in meetings. This was probably notes on styling for the show we did last September. They're terrible sketches, but I try. These are really cool. My friend Illy is an artist and when we went to Japan with our Virginia collection, she made these fake books, which also act as little boxes. That's my hand. And this, this is my mouth, which I realize is quite weird, but I've got stickers of my body parts, should I need them. That's the vibe in my bit. Then, this is Edwin's office, who's our managing director. He kind of oversees the entire business, so um, I'm the creative director, he's the managing director, and together we sort of run this show. It'll be like this, come into my office. Uh, it's a little more kind of businessy in here. My one's just total nonsense. Any dogs we have, so people bring their dogs in and they all pee on his carpet, which I find quite funny. So if you can see some of the patches of piss. Can you, are you getting that? Really nice. Let's snoop some desks. A nice hat. 
They're very tidy. I feel like they knew that we were coming in, so everyone tidied up. This general section is uh, for marketing. So, um, I mean, there's a camera. I'm sure they're taking pictures. Christmas crown that we made a while ago. Some Polaroids of, of girls. Mel Gibson's there, we won't talk about that. This is quite nice. It might seem a bit weird, and it is a bit weird. It's a Braveheart quote. I think it was because I did this Q&A at a department store and um, we played a game where we held up images and I had to say what I thought about their style. So I think um, William Wallace <laughs> was one of the people that I had to comment on. This is, a, I think, a bonnet for a dog, which is quite nice. And this is the dog in question that I drew a picture of. That's our, I would say office dog, but I mean, she, we just borrow her sometimes. She's very nice. And um, we actually have a new intern called Rosie, who's incredible, I will say. She's fantastic. She'll just get on with it. She's really good. This is a lookbook that we made. So we basically take this to um, a showroom and it helps sell a collection. So then they can see all the outfits and go, oh yeah, I'll order one of those and 3,000 of these. Um, this is one of the most offensive things I think that's happened in this office. I came back uh, from holiday and uh, found this, which is Sir Wipe-a-Lot. <laughs> He's called Sir Wipe-a-Lot. Um, Adam, our uh, marketing uh, director, actually picked that up at some kind of museum and he was threatening to put it up somewhere and I overheard this and completely uh, kiboshed that idea. But um, yeah, Sir Wipe-a-Lot. He's absolutely disgusting. Every time I see a calculator, obviously it's classic boobless. Boobless. Here you'll notice Michael, who's the only member of the AC team who agreed to be here on camera. Um, <laughs> Do you, would you like to tell everyone what you do? But first, can I guess? <laughs> yeah, go for it. It's not that I don't know, it's just I'm a little bit vague. Yeah. Because most of my dealings are with the design team or with marketing or yeah. with Edwin. We don't really no. cross-pollinate much. But you're... <gasps> you carry a briefcase. No, you're head of logistics. Kind of. What is it? What was the job that you applied for? Um, logistics coordinator. Can you explain yeah. what that is? To get into shops for each season, with right. the fashion seasons, you have to get stuff in with enough time for the customer to like distribute it across their shops. Yeah. So you have like two months, four times a year. Are you not the office manager? Yeah. You have a dual role. So what do you do as office manager? Mainly ordering in like fruits, milk, food, making sure everything works. So I've got like stuff computers just stashed away throughout so you're my desk basically in case dad. anyone needs. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything you need to update me on? Um, I can show you the biscuit selection. You want to show me the biscuit? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go into the biscuit selection. For sure. <laughs> oh my God. This, that is not, you've done this to make us look good because we don't usually have that many biscuits, for sure. We normally have a few, but we've had complaints about the lack of variety. So we've just been having standard di digestives recently. Well, if I could order them, Jaffa Cakes is my absolute worst. Um, fave would be digestives or a custard cream. A plain digestive? Yeah. Oh, no. To dip in tea? I'm, it's not for me. What are you going for? I love the uh, classic hobnob. Yeah. Well, I'm intrigued by these only because of the name. I've never tried a Garibaldi. you never had a Garibaldi? No. <laughs> Oh my God, it's classic. How long do you think that's going to last? Um, if certain people in the office get their way, maybe a day and a half. Day and a half. The gannets. I'm going to look in the fridge because I want to know about fridge politics as well. This is a big one. So it is on the rotor that we're meant to check it every day for mouldy things. Yeah, and do you do that? Kind of. They, you occasionally find the... Um... the for example, this is some open dog, oh, dog <laughs> food. Okay. That's been here since These I started. are mine. Oh, are they? That's mine! That doesn't look like it needs to be kept. Ancient ginger and lemon. Anyway, there was a moment when we were meant to label it and put our names on it and dates. Yeah, I, I sacked that off because no so one was boring. doing it. So boring, yeah, why yeah. would you do that? And I, I couldn't be bothered. Okay, well, I'm glad you got rid of that policy. It's too much. So this is, yeah, the kind of 
food and breakout space. So we do a lot of team meetings around the table, uh, but also everyone has lunch and breakfast. I actually sat on this table and broke it in about week one of the company. Can I just say that the bathroom might be my favorite place in this entire office. These are my really nice sinks that I got from Mexico. <laughs> I don't think they're really pretty. And this, the toilets were meant to have like collaged, beautiful wallpaper. Um, yeah, we kind of got stuck halfway through. But the shower, it's literally nicer than my real life one, but I've never, I've never taken it. Also, if, you know, you have an event or something, you want to spruce up before you go out. And that one's lavender and that one's blue. It's meant to be boys and girls, but it's a gender fluid bathroom. This is where Emma is, our knitwear designer. So lots of sort of woolen choices. I love the palette of dreams, it's super nice. And then this is our fabrics cupboard where lots of things we've either used or are looking to use are kind of stored. And so it's catalogued here. So if you're like, oh, I want a nice wool for suiting, or I'm looking for one of the fluids for a summer dress, this is where examples of that can be found and then you can amend it. So something like that, which is a jacquard, you can then alter the artwork and get whatever you want. So if you're like, I want this, but smiley faces in green with a bit of pink, then you do a development on that, which takes, you know, months, essentially. Trims, these are, this is, uh, it comes under fabric, but trims like every buckle, every button, every zipper, every uh, popper needs to be thought about and what kind of finish you want it in. Obviously buttons can be, different sizes, different uh, finishes, different curved edges, big edges, square ones, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is where production is. So they're kind of uh, making sure that things have a fit review, so things fit right. Um, they're ordering fabrics and just making sure that things are actually made and look good. This is a mood board which we put together at the beginning of every season, um, sort of expressing what the intention and the idea is behind a collection. We can't actually show you the images on this because for one reason or another, but I'll just explain what's on there. There's Vivian Westwood in some mohair, Paul McCartney with his legs crossed, a farmer, some, oh my God, Lisa Bonet from The Cosby Show looking amazing and um, sort of girls that look like they're in a catalogue from the 80s wearing tartan. Ooh, and big spoiler alert, but uh, Margot and Jerry from The Good Life in Wellies. Should be a goodie. <laughs> Kitchen, design, design, production, e-com and sales. Wait, who's sitting here? Oh, finance. Big one. I'm like, who's over there? Oh yeah, money. Um, that was it, I think. That's the AC office tour. I'm gonna sit here and really creepily just sit directly behind you. Um, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time. But for now, we've got some logistics to do, so you can show yourselves out. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Yeah.